After you, Jordan. Why, thank you. Such a gentleman. Where are you going? What are we getting? A booklet. Oh. I thought we were here to look at the art. I figured oh. we wanted to have a booklet about it. We're here to look at the art today. So, I'm already seeing some art over here. Let's take a little gander off into the admin office. So, I'm seeing that it's called Ordinary Miracles, Life in the Desert by Barbara Ro Rogers. I think it's kind of pretty. It's kind of whimsical, you know? Can you see what it says? Uh, she's been nationally and internationally exhibited, including a one-person exhibition at a major gallery. Holy in cow. In San Francisco, Seattle, New York, Chicago, Pittsburgh, Scottsdale, Germany, and- Germany? Yeah. Sheesh. That's really cool. This one is one of my favorites. What is it? Well. Wait, I know it's huge, but other than that. It's really big. It is actually brushed aluminum with oils painted on top of it. And it's by David Kessler. Oh, interesting. What is it called? Uh, this particular large one, I'm not sure. It's not in the name of the book, but there is a placard. seems to be called mesquite calligraphy. How interesting. It's I think really there's really big. Shifting simmer. Shimmer. Shimmer? Is that yeah. shimmer? Oh, I cannot <laughs> read. Perfect. Cat's claw excellence. I like that it's called cat's claw. Represent uh, the wild cats. Bear down. Bear down. The little branches on that one are cool. Oh, I love the way that he does all of the plants on them, but my favorite thing is the water. And the little fish, huh? Oh, the little fishies are so cute. They're really cute. How interesting. It says here in the book that he used the brushed aluminum to give it more of a like ultra realism type feel. I can see, I can see that. I like it. He said that it kind of provides this like holographic effect or it goes through and refracts the light slightly differently. These ones are the ones that I really love. Those are so pretty. They're so beautiful. Page. We're on the first floor and there's just so much art already. Like we've not even touched right. like not even touched the tip of it yet. What art are we going to find right now? Mm, I am not sure. Well, we'll go on a little scavenger hunt then. Oh, oh, oh. It's, our, this is the other one. it's the other part of uh, the one we've already seen. The one by Barbara Rogers. Hot house. From downstairs. Hot house hybrid number four. Like Ooh, apparently she's got even another one down here as well. Does she? Yeah. What room is it in? Also has a place. It says it's in 209. Is it 209? inside of 209? It probably is. Art. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Oh. Whoa. A clear day in the valley. That one makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense because of the Tucson Valley as well. Uh, um, I like that. I did hear there's this really cool piece of art that I want to find on the third floor. So we're going to take those fancy stairs up there and find them. Yeah. Wow. doop boop boop boop. Are we still filming? <laughs> okay. Well, that's super cool because I just found it. It was made by Michael Holcomb. I think that's how you say it. And it's a, I don't know, like an amoeba. It looks like an amoeba. Like, 
Map of Hope is part of a series of abstractions I began in 2003. It has to do with using form of technology to imagine and reveal the unknown. I use computers and other electronics for most of my work, and this image results from experiments with those tools. So now that we've taken our fancy little tour of the art of Bio5, I just want to say that what we showed here and what we found actually on our scavenger hunt was a tiny fraction of what we have here. This place is massive and there's so much art, which is super cool. Um, so I also forgot to just introduce Jordan. This is Jordan. She works across the walkway from me, like three feet away. And so thank you for coming, Jordan. I also want to say thank you to Ryan for filming. Go Ryan! And uh, if you guys ever want to come visit Bio5 and come uh, look at the collection after COVID and all that jazz, like once it's all over, once we get better and start doing tours again, come do, come visit us because we'd love to have you and show you around and show you all the art. Okay. Your, yours truly right here could give you a tour. It's fun. Thank you again. <laughs> Do you have things that you'd like me to discover? Email me at the email below. And don't forget to subscribe to our social media. Thanks for watching.